Hello, I'm Callie. I'm here with Harmony, an ASL music performer and dancer. Many people follow her on social media. She's a very talented, skilled person. Thank you for having me today. Tell me about yourself. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm the only deaf person in my family. My family is originally from Manila, Philippines, and they moved to Seattle, where I was born and raised. Now I'm a college student majoring in ASL with a minor in dance. I love spending my time creating art that's more accessible while at the same time making it more visually appealing. I'm curious, what drew you into dancing? What drew you into and caused you to become fascinated with dance? Really, even when I was young, I watched BET, Black Entertainment Television. I was fascinated by the songs and their dancing, and I decided to start copying the dance moves I saw. It was from there I began watching various on-demand shows on TV with dancing, like Get Up and Dance. I learned from there. I also remember dancing the Macarena at my aunt and uncle's wedding. A lot of people initially got up to dance the Macarena, and I joined in, but people started getting tired and left the dance floor. I kept dancing until I was the last one left. I found out later that people who were watching told my mom, we think your daughter is going to become a dancer. Here I am. Now I'm a dancer. But I'm not just any dancer. I also sign songs. You said you watched BET. Does that mean you prefer hip hop or do you have a different style of dance that is your favorite? Yes, I mostly prefer hip hop. I do listen to some pop, R&B, and rap as well. Really, as long as it has a good beat, I'll listen. Except rock. That isn't my thing and doesn't interest me. Did you grow up filming yourself dancing or did you start filming yourself recently? I started filming myself when I started attending Gallaudet. Really, at that time, I didn't know I had a network of people. One of my friends invited me to go to the Busboys and Poets event that takes place the last Friday of every month. He invited me because he saw me signing songs in the cafeteria. Sometimes I would wear headphones or I would bring my little speaker and sign as I ate. He saw me and encouraged me to come to the Bus Boys and Poets event. At the first couple of performances, I was doubtful about my skills, but later I got used to performing and several people would encourage me to keep performing. I thought, okay, fine. I continued dancing and signing, then COVID hit. I decided to keep going and from then on, I noticed my work began to take off and people started following me. And I really enjoy doing that. You mentioned that you're part of the Gallaudet Dance Company now? Yes. Have you been learning different types of dances or still mainly hip hop? What has your experience and growth with dance been like since joining the company at Gallaudet? Before I joined the Gallaudet Dance Company, I was primarily a hip hop dancer. When I entered, they had hip hop dancing and many new and different dance moves. For example, they have hip hop, Ballet, jazz, contemporary, modern dance, and many more types of dance. I remember being unsure of myself because I didn't know how to spin or do leaps. I remember my second year as I continued, the choreographers and dance director recognized I was improving. I was thankful they taught me and helped me improve. I'm becoming a better dancer every day and really enjoy it. How do you listen to the music, memorize the lyrics, and sign it? 
What is your process and how do you do it? I know many people are not skilled at signing music, but when I watch you, I'm mesmerized. You have that special something and are so in sync with the music, rhythm, and your ASL. How do you do that? Yes, I practice memorizing the lyrics and repeat my process over and over again until I'm satisfied. I'll also play with words and sentences. For example, a singer, Khalid, has a song called Talk. I was noticing on YouTube and TikTok, people signed talk like this, verbally speaking. But that's more of the hearing meaning behind the sign. I adapted it to fit deaf usage with various signs, chat, banter, converse, and so on, and really expanded on the understanding of the concept and meaning behind the language and lyrics. Also, I think about the location I film and what kind of editing effects I'll use. Various visual effects, like splashes, whatever. I'll watch the video, edit, and trim it, and work to put it all together. Afterwards, I work on adding captioning as well. As I read the captions and they seem off or like something is missing, I'll have to add in captions or go back and review it over and over to ensure it's good. It's time consuming, but I enjoy it. Oftentimes, my mom will tell me, get off your phone, but I'll tell her I want to edit more and I keep going until I'm satisfied. Then I'll think, should I post it now or should I send it to a few close friends first to see if they like it? If they don't like something, I can edit it a little bit more and then post it. I know that there are some people in the community with the view that music is not for deaf people. What are your thoughts on that? Really, just because someone is deaf doesn't mean they cannot enjoy music or cannot hear the music. I've met many people who can hear the music a little. Some can hear voices and background music. Some prefer heavy bass. It really varies. I know someone who likes to listen with the bass turned way up and feel it thumping. That's me! There are some people that I've met who aren't fascinated with music. I think music should be available to everyone and everywhere. It's ironic when they say they don't like it. But they like the visualization of music and seeing it come to life instead of relying on sound to convey the meaning. I think that is nice. Some rely on interpreters to interpret the meaning, or others will rely on the performers or artists and how they arrange the music and lyrics. When you dance, how do you feel inside while dancing and signing to the music? I feel free, disconnected, like I'm out of this world. Why do you make music videos? Really, I like to express myself. But at the same time, I want to show my talent, too. It is not only that, though. I also want to show how and what deaf people can do. I want to show we the deaf have skills, talent. Many mainstream people are often surprised by what they see, then drawn into my art, and they begin to follow me. What do you think about those hearing people who make ASL music videos, signing songs and dancing? What I've seen is good, but their ASL signing isn't correct. I notice it often follows the English word order more. Plus, the way they sign the lyrics doesn't follow the context or meaning of the lyrics, making it hard for the viewer to understand. It's the same with interpreters. They tend to go viral, but often we deaf people don't receive proper recognition. The interpreter didn't ask to become viral with their video. They're often simply signing to provide access for the deaf community. In the end, I feel like it's not their language because they don't know ASL and don't know how to ASL gloss right. 
From there, hearing people watching these videos, several hearing people want to learn sign, then decide to go ahead and sign songs, which tends to mess up the right ASL process of everything. So do you have anyone in the music and influencer world that you look up to? If so, who? Yes, I have two people. Paris Gold and Galen Hooks. I love their dance style and I like that they're creative with their dance and choreography. I see the art of what and how they envision everything as well as what goes into it. I started following them and I, I feel inspired by what they do. I've incorporated their dancing style into my dancing style, yet enhanced it with signing to make it more intuitive and awesome. Do you want to dance for famous people? Yes, I really want to dance. It's been my dream. It can be for anyone, even as a backup dancer or a tour choreographer. I think that would be a huge accomplishment. It would be a nice experience for me, too. Plus, are there any deaf choreographers creating for a famous singer out there? I don't know of any. And could I be the first or the next one? Who knows? You've influenced many of those who follow you. I'm curious, what do you hope your followers gain from watching your videos? I want them to know that music can be a part of deaf people's lives. Hearing people aren't the only ones who benefit. Deaf people enjoy music too. I want them to continue their passions and goals instead of pushing them off. If they continue to push their dreams off, people will never know or see their full potential if they keep it hidden or only to themselves. Lastly, I want them, hearing people, to support deaf creators. The deaf community sees their work, but the hearing community doesn't see it nearly enough. I think it's important to share our talents so that they, hearing people, see it and share it too, with more shares on social media. And in turn, it could be shared even more, which would be nice. Thank you. Now you've watched Harmony share her passion for signing music and dancing. That's her frame. Maybe you and I could soon learn how to dance.